Matthew Lloyd, two to go, says, Hey, Bill, I, I know it's not like you have anything else going on right now, but I've got to keep asking, when are you going to join us in the hottest space sim, Star Citizen, and the hottest organization in that space sim, the Stratosphere Lounge? It would be fun to do an in-game Stratosphere Lounge stream from the stratosphere of an actual in-game planet. So the question is, from Matthew Lloyd, uh, Bill, at what time can we expect you to see you in the Star Citizen universe? And Matthew, I think the question is going to have to be never, because I have seen so much of Star Citizen that I have a very strong feeling that uh, my presence in the Star Citizen universe will be binary. It will either be never or always. I will either never play it or I will never leave it. Uh, for those of you who have not seen it, uh, you might want to look up Star Citizen on U YouTube. You've got thousands of videos by now. Uh, it's a, it was a crowdfunded thing, I think, and, and um, by the guy, was it the guy who did um, Wing Commander? I remember playing Elite, and Elite's got a new version of it, but Star Citizen is, is breathtaking. Star Citizen is everything I ever wanted as a, as a teenager, as an adolescent. It's everything I ever wanted. Uh, it, is, it is an unlimited universe. It's tremendous, tremendously good-looking graphics. It is the ability to simply go from one point on the surface of one planet to another point on the surface of another planet without any cutscenes. Uh, there's all kinds of cool weapons, but the main thing is you can have a ship, let's say, with a crew of five, and you have five real people, and somebody's manning the guns, and somebody's manning the engineering station. You get to do it all in real time. A, a cooperative gameplay to me is infinitely more fun than um, than playing against other humans. Infinitely more fun. Um, but the answer is, Matthew, uh, if I get set up on Star Citizen, I suspect that Natasha will never see me again, and neither will you. I'll be out there someplace, someplace distant. Um, it is everything I, I ever wanted as a sci-fi kid, as a as a teenager and as a, as a actually a grown adult man if you can believe it it's it's what I've been waiting for basically my entire life is a fully interactive universe of people that are, everything is going on all the time in real time and um, and it's just so beautiful to look at it's just so beautiful to look at it's absolutely shocking oh as a 3.0 demo I'll do that you know what I'm gonna do that uh, I'm going to write that down. You see, here's a piece of paper, and here's me with a pen. I'm going to write that down because I want to see more Star Citizen. Uh, and I can afford to spend 10 minutes watching my uh, what my fiancé calls my silly videos, but um, uh, that's about all I can spend. Uh, but that's one I'm going to look at right as soon as this show is over because I think that game is badass. And the only thing that would get me away from Star Citizen is, um, is DCS. Uh, uh, you still out there, Foghorn? If you if you are, go look up um, go look up DCS 2.0 Digital Combat Simulations. Um, those that's a flight sim, and the real time gameplay is absolutely astonishing. It looks so close to actual footage that there have been times uh, where they they would show footage of A-10s and so on, and I, I, I genuinely could not tell the difference between that and a, and a real picture, and um, and I know what an A-10 looks like and all the rest of them. They're, the F-15 is spectacular. I think they've recently got an F-16 model, but F-16 is not DCS, it's um, DNS, something like that. B, 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 BMP, something like that. So the Falcon has got um, Falcon has got uh, a flight sim that's got its own software dedicated to the F-16. But DCS models everything. They model everything. You can find yourself on a on a on a Soviet BMP behind the correct machine gun and try to take shots at an Apache helicopter. It's every single thing in the world is is. Um, is simulated in that game, and and the graphics are shocking. They're just so good. BMS, thank you, Falcon BMS. BCS, uh, a DCS, Digital Combat Sims, is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, the L thirty nine model they have is unbelievable. The, the F five, the Vigan they've got, the MiG twenty one Foghorn is is amazing. You really, if you ever wanted the experience of flying a MiG twenty one, you're gonna not get closer than this. It's unbelievable how good it is, and I get the feeling that if I, because I got a big monitor here and I got a fast computer, and I get the feeling that if I set them up once, just you know, just up, just let me just have a little bit of fun because I, I haven't been playing computer games in a long time. I'm, I 
the reason I don't set them up is because I genuinely actually fear the fact that I would not be able to get off. They're just tremendous. So Star Citizen and, and um, uh, DCS. Look up A10's uh, Foghorn. Look up the look up the A10 in DCS and tell me that doesn't just kick ass. And then we have one more question left to go. Thank you, Matthew. Um, I may, you know, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> 